Hi, welcome. This is going to be a pick a crystal, pick a pile reading for a past love. This could be somebody that, you know, maybe you're still thinking about this person or you're still, you know, a little bit hung up on them or maybe you didn't have closure or maybe you're in separation and you just, you know, you want to know if there's at all any future or you could take these messages for closure. So I have two piles here. We have the amethyst or the obsidian. I'll leave timestamps. And I have some little messages that I've wrote out that are like their energy kind of channeled in. Like, you know, what is their soul's energy saying to your soul's energy? Like the unspoken things. Okay, so let's get into this. Which one you choose, I'll leave timestamps. If you want to pause, take your time to think about it, whichever one you're drawn to. I'm starting with the amethyst. All right, let's get into this reading for you. So if you chose the amethyst, now what is something that ended you guys or could have, you know, come between you or put a, you know, dampening on your connection or caused you to break up? So with the devil's energy, I feel like this person is very sexually potent and very um, hedonistic and into you know, like their sexuality and they have like a seductive persona. This is somebody that could like be very magnetic and pull you in and draw you into their energy. And, you know, they have like a lot of um, like desirable energy. Like, I, I don't know how else to say it, but they're very like sexually magnet. So I feel like you may have had great chemistry with this person. Um, but I feel like this is somebody who has a very big appetite and they are easily misled and they are easily seduced themselves. And this is somebody that might like live on the edge or live a little dangerously or, you know, maybe engage in some like illegal activities or, you know, they might be somebody who is very materialistic or money obsessed or, you know, just obsessed in general with different things. And this is somebody whose energy is very controlling, someone who could be even a bit like needy or clingy or a little bit codependent or bring that out of you because this is somebody that kind of brings the worst out of you. Um, this is someone who, to, who could be suffering like OCD or narcissism or some type of untreated mental illness and they cope with drugs or alcohol or they are an addict or you know, they can't resist temptations, really. It's hard for them. They may have bad habits. This person may be vain, shallow. They might have a lot of unhealthy relationships and normalized bad behavior, and they may have many vices, like, you know, maybe they're addicted to caffeine or gambling or sex or smoking or drugs or booze or, you know, drama or something that just is negative. And this is somebody that's sort of, you know, abusive and neglectful and irresponsible. It's like bondage energy. It's like enslavement energy. It's like I have to control everything around me energy. Um, and it's definitely overtly kind of sexual energy where it could be almost like perverted or almost like a addiction. Um, and I feel like this is somebody who doesn't really take care of themselves. This is somebody who doesn't take care of their health and they may do things that go against their health and they may not want to hear it from anybody and they may think that they always know the right way and they always know best. And, you know, it's just somebody that has a lot of toxic traits, unfortunately, and someone that really like would be, um, like in the category of like, a, like a, a darker energy, like someone who is, you know, a liar, someone who hurts people. So I could see if that energy interfered in your connection with this person. What were you learning? So I feel like you were learning something with like satisfaction, something with your own approval of yourself, something with you feeling like good enough, worthy, feeling like you are wanted, feeling like you're cared about. I feel like this person was almost like giving you that and then they would take it away and giving you that and taking it away. So they were definitely playing games and like had you in some sort of a power and control, control like struggle. Um, I feel like it's more about how you love and value and appreciate yourself. I feel like that was teaching you what you weren't giving yourself enough love and you weren't valuing yourself and you weren't um, setting boundaries and you weren't like giving yourself 
the same love and empathy and compassion that you were giving this person. It was like you wasted on this person. So it's about, you know, your growth and you satisfying yourself and not relying on another person to give you that satisfaction. So what are some other things you need to know about this person? I had this person is definitely emotionally unavailable. So if this person is like an addiction energy or they are insecure or they are in the energy of I want it right now, they definitely are, don't have emotions tied to things. They just are almost like everything is like a trophy or prize to this person. They wanted to tell you the truth. I feel like they could have had something going on like a side life or they were lying to you. I feel like they wanted to tell you the truth if they had like a conscience at all, their conscience like was coming into play. This person is setting their ways and unlikely to change. Yeah, I feel like, you know, you saw that over time. And this person is definitely selfish. What else is their energy saying to you? Yeah, I should have told you the truth. So they do have some regrets about lying. I'm sorry I didn't take you more seriously. They do have some regrets. But I also feel like it, if they wouldn't hesitate for one second to try to get you back into their energy and under their control. I wasn't mature enough for the type of connection we had. Yeah, I'm, I'm, unfortunately, I feel like this, this says it all. So if you were looking for confirmation, I hope this did that for you. Love and light. Thank you so much for watching. Alrighty, if you chose the obsidian, what was a main reason that you and your person disconnected or you and your person um, had like separation? I feel like this person that was in your life was like, I don't know, younger energy, but I'm also getting like immature. Someone who hasn't like sown their wild oats yet. Someone who hasn't like seen the world, hasn't experienced enough yet. Someone who hasn't like had enough time to like put themselves out there and, you know, like explore the world. I also feel like this some this is someone that like may have ghosted. Someone who may have not experienced blamed their situation or their feelings or what they wanted or they weren't like clear with what they wanted or needed or they may have just lied to you know save face or they may have lied and tried to you know trick you or get you into um a relationship or a connection with them when you weren't ready and you know I feel like right now their energy is kind of saying that they are vague they are someone who is looking for like the next best thing. I feel like this is somebody who is very inexperienced in love. I feel like this is somebody who is charming and, you know, very active and a mover and a shaker and a groundbreaker and a, you know, think outside the box person and very like passionate and creative and all these good qualities. But I also feel like this is somebody who could have a big ego. They could be very full of themselves. They could be very superficial. They could have that high sexual energy that's very like attractive, but this is somebody who is vain and a little bit insecure and they have like a insatiable um, a need for attention and admiration and they could be a bit emotionally aggressive and physically aggressive and verbally aggressive and kind of like intolerant and like not agreeable and you know this is somebody that would make you feel like they need you to walk on eggshells in order to keep them happy and someone jealous and unbearable and a bully in their shadow side so I feel like this is somebody that you know came into your life and was kind of like had this wham bam energy and was very sexual and very sexually charged and that's possibly where their focus was more and this is somebody that just needs to keep going and I need to keep finding people to have these experiences with. And, you know, it's somebody who's very empty inside and kind of like chasing their self really or chasing their tail. Um, they're not finding happiness anywhere they go or with anyone they meet or with anyone that they fool around with or have a relationship with. They're not finding happiness in that because they themselves are not happy. So what was this teaching you? We have cause and effect. So... You are aware that the love that you create in your thoughts is an agent of change and the foundation of your results. I feel like this person taught you something with cause and effect. Like if I do this, they're going to do that. If I say this, they're going to say that. If I ask for this, they're going to make an excuse. If I um, push them on it, they're going to push back. Like I feel like you just learned 
um, boundaries and like either how to create them or how you should create them or how you should be with your boundaries and not allow people to come over them or try to take advantage of you or try to um, persuade you to do things that you don't want to do or you feel uncomfortable with or that you don't really believe in. Um, and I do feel like this is somebody that maybe had some red flags that you may have ignored the red flags and found out, well, if I do that, you know, if I ignore red flags, this is what's going to happen. This is how I'm going to be treated. And you decide like, Hey, I don't want to be treated that way. So I feel like if you let this person walk away, that was a good thing, but I do feel like they walked away. Do they know that they've hurt you? Let's see like what else my cards popped out. Now this is the deck that I made and I just channeled these. So they're afraid of commitment. Yeah, that does kind of like fit this scenario. Like to them, it's like, oh, I don't want to be held back. I don't want to answer to anybody. I don't want to um, be held up all day. I don't want to go to the family picnics with you. I don't want to go to like so-and-so's wedding. I don't want to be like chained to these things with you. That's that's how I feel. Their energy was saying like, I need to go be off on my own. Like I need to go do what I want to go do. That makes me happy. Like, but they're not happy. This person is phony or fake. Yeah, they could have had some fake energy. If not with you, then they project this energy outward to people, like when they meet people for the first time, because they really want to be liked. This person is stuck in the past. Yeah, I would say that sometimes this could even be reflective of them not over an ex, or maybe it's like their baby's mom or mama or something with that. Like they're not over something from the past, and they go to that all the time. That's like their excuse. Like, well, that person hurt me so bad. I can't possibly deal with that ever again. And then we have this person knows that they hurt you. So I do feel like, um, yes, they do know, like, and, you know, they're just in a very, like, selfish energy. So what else did I get? I was wounded and I took it out on you. Yeah, and I feel like they're continuing to do this. Your memory haunts me sometimes. Yeah, I do believe that. There is some feeling of, like, they knew, like, it was hard to walk away, but they just, they did for whatever reason. I feel like a lot of it was just they're not secure with themselves. I look back on our time together finally. So, yeah, they're thinking of you and thinking of the past, but I do feel like this is somebody ultimately that was immature and is immature and, and inexperienced and, um, you know, did some unfair things to you and they know it and, you know, now they're kind of just in an energy of what they are missing out on or what they think they're missing out on but this person has major FOMO so they always have this like they could be with you and make it seem like it's gonna last and be realistic but then they get like this FOMO and this like juice and this bug to go out and find something more fulfilling or I have to have the next best thing or oh you know I'm gonna chase this now so if they walked away it may be for the better I hope that these messages were helpful love and light